polling in Zoom could be used in a way to increase engagement in the meeting. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a poll using your Zoom account. Now before that, if you are new to this channel, this channel talks a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. If you like these kind of topics, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So without further ado, let me jump into my computer and I can show you how you can create polling in Zoom. First of all, for polling to work, you need to have a licensed account. The polling can only be done inside your browser, not from the Zoom itself. So there's a few things you need to do in the browser before you can actually launch the poll inside Zoom. And the meeting must be either a scheduled meeting or instant meeting using your personal meeting ID. So if you just open up Zoom, create it and then invite people in, you won't be able to have the polling option. So for polling option, you need to have all these meetings set up first so that you can put it inside the meeting. I'll show you how it can be done later. Before that, let me just go and enable the polling function first. Just in case there are some people that have problem with polling, this is one place that you can check. So I'm already logged into my Zoom account. So just go to my account go to settings now you go to in meeting basics then you scroll down you find for poll so you see meeting poll and quizzes by default it's usually on so for advanced poll and quizzes this is a new features from zoom i'll talk about this in the next video but for now let's focus on just having the polls done here next i'm going to create a new meeting okay so now let's just go to meetings and then you schedule a meeting i'm going to invite a participant so all right, now let's save. So now you scroll all the way down, you see there's this option called Polls, okay? So you just click on Create, and you can create uh, the single choice, there's multiple choice. So for example, single choice, you just say... So for example, they just have this tree. Then you can add a question, they just add another question. For example, let's test multiple choice. Just an example, all right? Now, there's an option here. Just click on the option here. You can see, allow participant to answer question anonymously. You can allow, don't allow, it's totally up to you. So I just click save, and it's here. And then you can create more polls. You can create up to 50 polls. So let me just create a second poll. So you can just save. Now you see two different polls. I'll show you why we have two different polls. Now let us jump into Zoom, and then you can see how this poll work. As mentioned just now, poll can only be created using browser. You cannot create a poll, questions, editing using the Zoom app itself. So no choice, you have to come to browser to do it. everything here before you go into Zoom. So now let's just go into Zoom. So now you see I've created the Zoom meeting here, test. All right, and you can see the polls option here. When you click on here, you can see that different poll. There's two different polls. You can title poll and poll two. All you have to do is just click launch. Let me just go in with another my account to come inside this meeting to show you how this poll can be done. Alright, so I admit the second test. So now there's two participants. So let me just launch the poll. Let's show you how when they reply what will happen, okay? So now let's just go to poll. And then you can see you can launch one poll by one poll. So let me just launch this poll first. Launch. The results can only be seen by you. When they fill up, they only you know what's the results. For example, let me just choose so you can see there's timing here. It's good for you to know how long the poll is being taken. So how many have participated, how many questions, then you click submit. And then you can see the results here. One over one, one over one over one. Then all you have to do is just end poll. And you got the results here. So you can see there's edit poll button here. When you click on it, it goes back to the website. All right. So you can share results. When you share results, everyone can see the results. So you can go here, you can relaunch the poll, you can download the results here. Or you can view the results from, from browser. Let me just view the results on browser. You can see the answer cell here. So if you relaunch the poll, everything will be cleared again. So the results all will be gone. So now you want to launch a second poll, all you have to do is just click here, go to poll 2 and just launch. Then you can see how long it takes, one question, how many participant, participated, and just end poll. Okay, same thing, you can share results, relaunch, poll, or download anything from here. But most of it has to be done in browser. So for Zoom, it's literally just to launch the poll and to manage the poll inside the meeting itself. Alright, so yeah, that's it, that's it. That's how you can just easily create poll. This is very important when you want to get, for example, like polling results. You want to comp you want know which one you prefer. Some people actually even use poll for quiz, but there is a quiz function right now, which is 
being implemented in Zoom, which I will explain in the next video. Uh, but this is all you need to get started and I hope this is useful for you. Thank you. If you like what I share, do give me a like or a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, why not? It's free. Just click the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel right now. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.